Hi. Okay, hello. Hi, my name is Damin, Damilola Onime. I am a journalism student at Seneca College. I'm originally Nigerian. Uh, back home, I worked as um, a radio presenter, a news anchor, a news presenter, all of the things in news. And then I decided to come to Canada to study. Imo Adodo is my co-host. He's um, also Nigerian. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So my name is Imo Adodo, and um, I'm also from Nigeria, just like Dami. And um, for some time, I also worked in the radio industry in Nigeria. And yeah, I'm here <coughs> to test the waters and see what international practice is like. Thank you. So um, we're all here today to learn how to tell our stories the way we want it to be told, especially because we are immigrants and uh, we want a uh, correct reportage about uh, our home country. So I'll be introducing Kurt Muller. Uh, Muller is a journalism educator with over 20 years in the industry. He's currently the Dean of the Faculty of Communications and Art Design at Seneca College. Uh, he's going to be opening uh, the workshop. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody. I'm, I'm uh, delighted uh, to be here to bring greetings on behalf of uh, Seneca College. Uh, I also uh, am from Africa. I'm from South Africa. I was born in Cape Town, and uh, my family came here to Canada when I was uh, three years old. But one of the reasons they came to Canada was because in South Africa at that time uh, was the height of apartheid where I was born, and the media coverage uh, uh, reflected that in institutional racism and the barriers uh, in terms of telling stories. So one of the reasons my father insisted on uprooting uh, his family and coming to a land where there was a free press was because he wanted to uh, see uh, that uh, uh, systemic racism address. So uh, I also think that's one of the reasons events like this are, are so important. So uh, I'm really delighted to be part of this event. I'd like to start things off uh, in terms of diversity uh, it, with a land acknowledgement. Uh, and I want to acknowledge that the Seneca College campuses of Newnham, uh, Seneca Downtown, Seneca York, Markham and the King Campus, uh, uh, which includes the Williams Treaty, uh, Seneca College would like to acknowledge the land on which its buildings are housed and where students, faculty, support staff, and members of the public gather. This land is the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We are guests on this space, and it is our shared obligation uh, to respect, honor, and sustain this land. Uh, the cities of Etobicoke, Toronto, North York, uh, York, and Vaughan are located within the boundaries of the Toronto Purchase uh, Treaty lands. Uh, the Crown paid 60 shillings uh, for that land, uh, which is roughly about uh, $400 or so in today's money. So that's something I reflect upon uh, often when I think about uh, the advantages that I've, I've had uh, as uh, being part of Canadian society, but I also am cognizant of the fact that uh, this society in many respects has been built on and still does uh, exploit and oppress First Nations people. Um, so I just wanted to also uh, give a shout out and a big thank you to our uh, event and media production team uh, in the back of the room over there. Uh, they've worked, uh, uh, well I lost track of the amount of work uh, you all did in setting this up because of the amount of emails back and forth and getting the technical issues uh, sorted out. Uh, so Tim Abbott is the coordinator and professor, if you could raise your hand uh, Tim. And we also have four students, Claire Thomas and Adil Bedra, Alex Fairhart, and Amri Brar. So thank you very much. Uh, I want to welcome uh, as well, uh, since we're talking about technology, all of us who are all of the uh, uh, participants who are joining us on the live stream, welcome. Uh, I'm sure you'll find uh, today's activities beneficial, and I'm just delighted that uh, Seneca College is part of this event. Thank you.